Good morning, Grade Four. Welcome to the English class. So, in the previous class, we read the story of the indomitable Sudha Murthy. Today, we will see the exercises from the chapter. But before that, I suggest you please read the story once again and come back to the exercises. So, I hope you have read the story once again. Now, let's see the first exercise. It's reading comprehension. Write T for true and F for false. Now, the first statement is, Sutha Murthy did her master's degree in computer science at the Indian Institute of Science. Is that true or false? Yes, that statement is true. Now, the next one, J.R.D. Tata was then the chairman of the Tata group. Was it true? Is it true? No, it is false. Who was the chairman of the Tata group then? It was Sumant Mulgaukar. Now, the third question. Murthy was called for interview at Telco's Mysore office. Is it true? No. Miss Murthy was called to Telco's Pune facility, the office at Pimpri, for the interview. So the statement here is false. Now, fourth one Murthy was advised to work in research laboratories. Is it true or false? Yes, it is true. See, there is, there is a line in the story. We appreciate that, but people like you should work in research laboratories. So here the statement given is true. Now the fifth one, Murthy failed the interview. Is it true or false? No, it is false. She went through a long interview and after that she was selected for the job. So the statement here is false. Now the next exercise is read these sentences and answer the questions that follow. Now the first question is, you may note down the answers in your notebook. The first question is, I was taken aback by the telegram. Who is I? Who is I referred here? It is Sudha Murti. Now question B, what telegram is being spoken of? The telegram was sent to Sudha Murti in response to her letter of application for an engineering job at Telco. The telegram stated that she was to appear for an interview at Telco's Pune facility at the company's expense. So I hope this is clear to you. Now question C. Why was I taken aback by it? She was taken, Sudha Muti was taken aback as she was not expecting a response from the company. In their advertisement, they had specified that women need not apply for the job. Question number two. By then, I knew for sure that I would not get the job. Question A. What job is being spoken of here? The job of an engineer at Telco is being spoken of here. Question B. Why did Murthy think that she would not get the job? Why did she think so? Murthy did not think she would not get the job because it had been specified that Telco would not accept applications from ladies. My question C, what happened at the job interview? At the job interview, she was told that Telco did not employ ladies to work on the shop floor. It was suggested that she should work in their research laboratories. Murthy replied that Telco must start somewhere, otherwise no woman would ever be able to work in their factories. Now let's move on to section C. Answer these questions. Question number one. Why had Sudha Murthy not thought of taking up a job in India? Sudha Murthy had not thought of taking up jobs in India because she was looking forward to going abroad to complete a doctorate in computer science. She had been offered scholarships from universities in the US. Now, let's move on to question number two. What did Murthy spot one day on her way to her hostel at the Indian Institute of Science? She spotted an advertisement on the notice board. It was a job requirement notice from the automobile company Telco. Now, question number three. Write the content of her letter in your own words. The Tatas have always been leaders. They started the infrastructure industries in India, such as iron and steel, textiles and locomotives. They have always shown interest in higher education in India and established the prestigious Indian Institute of Science. 
I have had the good fortune to study there, but I am surprised that a prestigious company like Telco is discriminating on the basis of gender. So she had written this letter to JRD that this, uh, she was one of the students of their institute, the Indian Institute of Science. And she was so fortunate, she was feeling very fortunate that she could study there. But she was so upset that a prestigious company like the Telco is discriminating on the basis of gender. So this was the content of the letter that she wrote to J.R.D. Tata. Now, the next question, fourth one, what was the elderly gentleman's reason for not allowing women to apply? So what was his reason? The reason that he gave was that they had never employed any ladies on the shop floor. He said that their company was not a coed college, it was a factory. He appreciated her bright academic record, but said that people like her should work in research laboratories. I hope this was clear. Now question number five. How did Murthy respond? Murthy said that the company must start somewhere to give opportunities to women as otherwise no woman would ever be allowed to work in their factories. Now question number six. Why does Murthy think that J.R.D. Tata was a great man? Murthy thinks that J.R.D. Tata was a great man because despite being a very busy person, he valued one letter written by a young girl seeking justice. Now, question D, think and answer. The first question, read the passage once more. What traits in Sudha Murthy do you think helped her to get the job at Telco? Was it only academic excellence? And there is one more question. What does this reading passage tell you about J.R.D. Tata? So these couple of questions you have to give a thinking and write yourself in your notebook. So you please do this as an activity now. Post this video, finish writing your own answers to it and then come back. Hope you are done with that. Now let me share my thoughts on these questions with you. The first one, what trades in Sudha Murthy do you think helped her to get the job at Telco was it only academic excellence. So I think the traits that helped Sudha Murthy get a job at Telco were a strong desire for gender equality where women have the same opportunities as men and also her self-confidence. She had the presence of mind to give a very bold answer to the elderly gentleman at the interview. She said, but you must start somewhere, otherwise no woman will ever be able to work in your factories. Her conviction that she could do the job that no woman had done before impressed everyone. It was not just academic excellence, but her self-confidence that got her the job. So question number two, what does this reading passage tell you about J.R.D. Tata? So what I think is that J.R.D. Tata was an extremely busy person, yet he found time to read a postcard written by Sudha Murthy when she was just a young girl. In the postcard, she had expressed her admiration for the Tatas, but pointed out that the company was discriminating on the basis of gender. J.R.D. must have taken note of the letter and valued the opinion of a young girl seeking justice. That is why Muthi was called for an interview. This tells us that J.R.D. Tata was indeed a great man. So I hope these answers are clear to you. Now let's see the next section. It is the values and life skills section and it's about speaking up. In this passage, Sudha Murthy talks about the injustice of Telco in allowing only men to apply for a job. Often, we are faced with situations that we think are unfair and unjust. In such cases, sometimes we speak up for what is right, exactly as Sudha Murthy does. However, there are times when we fail to point out what is right. So we may come across many situations in our daily life that we might see something that we feel it is wrong and we might speak up against it. Just like Sudha Murthy spoke up against the injustice the telco company was doing. So here, one question is given, share one incident in class when you or someone you know had felt that something was wrong and unfair and spoke up against it. 
So you might have gone through a situation where you might see or you yourself might have spoken up against something that you felt it is unfair or you might have seen someone else speaking up against something unfair or something wrong. You can share about such an incident in this section. You can write about it in your notebook, take a picture and send us to teams. Now the next section is the vocabulary section and it is about occupations. There is a note given in your textbook in page number 104. Please look into that page. Read these sentences. Sudha Murthy was an engineer. Sumant Mulgaukar was the company's chairman then. Just as an engineer is a person who designs machines, bridges or computer programs, a chairman of a company looks after the company, its well-being and its employees. So this section is about building your vocabulary with words that point to occupations. The word engineer refers to someone who designs machines, bridges or computer programs and the word chairman refers to the occupation of looking after a company, its well-being and the well-being of its employees. So here an exercise is given below that. Find out what these professions are about and write in the blanks. You can see a list of five words there. These are words related to occupations or professions. You have to find out the meaning of each of these words and write in the space provided there. You can use a dictionary and if needed an online dictionary in the presence of your parents. Do this as an activity now, please pause this video, finish the activity and come back. Hope you are done with that. Now let's discuss each of these words given here. Curator, the first one. Curator means a keeper of a museum, someone who is taking care of a museum. Now the second one, journalist. A journalist means a person who writes for a newspaper. Now sculptor, sculptor means one who makes figures or shapes using stone, wood or metal. Now fourth one, lyricist. A lyricist is a person who writes the words of a song, the lyrics of a song. Now the fifth one, playwright. Playwright is a person who writes plays. I hope you got all these answers correct. Now the next section is Unscramble these words related to the information technology and write them in the blanks. So you can see some words here which are related to the information technology and the letters of these words are scrambled. You have to unscramble the letters of these words to get a meaningful word related to information technology. You do this as an activity now. Please pause this video, finish it and come back. Hope you are done with that. Now let's discuss each one. The first one, the correct word is software engineer. The second one, it is web developer. The third one is a quality analyst. Fourth one is a delivery manager. Fifth one is a business analyst. I hope you got the words correct. Now children, so these were a few exercises from the chapter. Rest of the exercises we will see in the next class. So as an activity for today, you have to find out the new words that you learned in the story and you have to make a note of it in your notebook. You have to write the word, learn the spelling, learn the pronunciation and also learn the meaning. And you have to be able to make up a sentence using each of these words. A few new words are already given in your textbook in page number 101. You may note down these words also in your notebook. So that's all for today children, we'll meet in the next class with the rest of the exercises, till then, bye.